So this is Zatari's main business street. It's home to hundreds of shops and services. And it's so popular with Syrians and camp workers, it's been nicknamed the Champs-Élysées in reference to the bustling shopping street in the French capital, Paris. Nikhil completed the 300 islands in 2008, 210 of which were sold on to private developers. But six years later, as you can see, active construction projects are few and far between. Now, cloud seeding isn't for the faint-hearted. Pilots like Mike here have to fly towards turbulent, cumuloform clouds. Once he's in the middle of them, he releases chemicals, which causes a chain reaction. The cloud then becomes really unstable. There are violent updrafts, meaning that the plane has to move away as quickly as possible. But it's not just up in the sky where the UAE has drone expertise. Abu Dhabi-based Al Sir Marine produced these unmanned surface vessels. They can patrol waters for up to two days unassisted, and the company believes they have great potential when it comes to civilian applications. And that ambition doesn't just stop at Arab and Kurdish tourists. The government of Kurdistan wants to see this region become a major international destination by as early as next year. But with wider security concerns in Iraq, will Westerners really choose to come here to ski?